If you love me, I got a word for the both of us. Put you in the driver's seat. Don't gotta hurry in the middle of What's up, what's up, my LB besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Candy. And if you're new here, thank you so very much for joining my channel. And if you're not new here, thank you so very much for jumping back onto another video. I just want to first start off by saying I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not be on here today still making videos. So thank you for all that you do that helps contribute to the growth of my channel. So with that being said, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you did so. And also you can hit the bell so that way you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And also if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and then also leave me a comment in the comment section below. Okay, so I'm going to first start off with my bag of the video and it is a never full from the Wild at Heart collection in this beautiful black with all of the pretty colors popping out right at you. This is a gorgeous bag, brand new, never used. Inside has the leopard print. So pretty. I did a video not long ago of my never full collection and I said I was going to narrow my Never full collection down by one or two, and I couldn't go with two, but I did decide to narrow it down by one, and this is the winner. Because I have three black Never Fulls, and if I ever go for one of them, it's probably going to either be my solid black one or my Game On, because my Game On is my favorite. And even though she is a, a favorite too, I just don't see reaching for all three of these Black Never Fools. So, she is for sale. If anybody wants her, I will leave the price of her in my description box below. So, my back of the video and the one for sale is my Never Fool from the Wild at Heart collection. Right. Okay, so let's talk about big bags. So, word on the YouTube street is that big bags are coming back in. Now, I have been hearing this for quite some time now, but here's the thing with me. I do not follow trends by any means. I'm happy that big bags are coming back because I never gave them up in the first place. And if you follow trends, I get it, but considering I don't, it doesn't matter to me if a small bag is more trendier than a large size bag or vice versa. It just doesn't matter to me because I don't go off of those kind of trends. Now, I, I do like certain trends, but handbags are just not one of those. I don't think any handbag goes out of style. And if they go out of style to one person, that doesn't mean it should go out of style to the next person because I think you should buy and carry what you love. And who cares what anybody else says? It doesn't matter. In my town, I don't think anybody would ever care what I carry, to be honest with you. And I love that. I really do because I'm just not one that follows the handbag trends. So anyways, but I do have a lot of big bags. So I thought since, like I said, word on the YouTube street is they are coming back. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my big to large bags that I would recommend purchasing and just tell you a little bit about each bag. I won't go into a full blown story on each, but you know, just a little couple words, just a couple of words. But I do love all of my bags that I have that are large bags and they are so very useful in my opinion. And if you don't like large handbags, that's okay too, you know, because we all have our likes and dislikes. And if we didn't, how boring would life be if we all liked the exact same things? So let's get started with my collection of big to large handbags. Okay, so I'm gonna first start off with my latest largest handbag, which is the Loop Hobo in the GM size in the Empreinte leather. I am currently using this bag, so that's why you're seeing it slouched like this because I have all of my things inside of it, which is not a whole lot. It does not take a whole lot to make this bag a slouch, but I just wanna put it up close so you guys can see. I'll straighten it out. That way you guys can see the bag. So here's the front. And then here's the back. Oh, look at my charm, you guys. This was the charm I had for sale. I still have it for sale. I think I have it in my, on my community post. I don't know. It never did sell, so I just decided to put it on this bag because I think pink pops on black bags. The reason why I was selling it and could sell it if someone wants it is because I have so many charms. And this one is a real Louis Vuitton 
charm. There's no scratches on it anywhere. It's a really cool and sturdy good charm. But anyways, I thought let's give it a pop of color. Okay, so this bag came out towards the end of 2023. I was in the boutique one day buying that excursion backpack. They had just released these at the same time and I did not think that I would want it at all. I really didn't. I'd already seen the pictures that were being posted on Instagram and YouTube and whatnot and it just was one that I just didn't think I would want until they brought her out. And then I was just blown away by its beauty because it really is such a beautiful bag. I love these hobo bags and I like how you can just use the chain and throw it on your shoulder and go. And look how much room it gives underneath my arm. Pull my sleeve back because I always wear oversized sweatshirts. So it gives a lot of room to, to carry it with the chain that it comes with. So anyways, I do have the longer strap attached, but I've just been letting that hang and carrying it by the chain. So my first large bag is the Loop Hobo in the GM size. Like I said, highly recommend this bag. I think it is a really chic, nice looking bag that you can dress up or dress down by all means. So bag number one, my Loop Hobo in the GM in black on front leather and moving on. Bag number two, this bag was one that I literally waited forever for them to release and I was so happy because I had pre-ordered the bag and then we took a vacation to Cancun and we took a trip downtown to the mall and I went in the Louis Vuitton store and I seen her sitting there as I was about to leave, that is. And so I called my essay at the time and I said, is there any way I can cancel the order because I wanted to go ahead and pick this bag up. So she had no problem doing that because I just turned around and used that money toward something else. I don't even remember what, but anyways, so I picked this up in Cancun, Mexico and no, this is not the chain that came with the bag. The last time I wore this bag, I wore it with the strap that it comes with and I wanted a longer chain to hang in the front. So whenever this bag slouches, let me slouch it because I don't have anything in it. Then, so when this bag slouches, the chain is longer. So I like that look if I'm going to wear it with the leather strap. If I'm going to wear the chain, I obviously like the one that comes with the bag. But yeah, I wanted to put a longer one on there so that you could see the chain on the bag because the shorter one just kind of sits right on top, which is okay, but I wanted it to be shown. So I added a chain from a different bag. So my loop hobo in the monogram and reverse monogram is another fave of my big to large bags, obviously. And I tell you what, it's all I can do not to buy the one in cream and the one in bicolor because I love these bags that much. So yeah, I really would not mind having the one in cream. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I just don't know how much I would wear it since it's so big, but the bicolor one, mm, so pretty too. Okay. So anyways, bag number two is the Loop Hobo GM in the reverse monogram. Love her. Okay, so we're going to move on from this bag. So speaking of reverse monogram, my next bag is the On The Go Tote in the size MM. And to me, this is a big to large bag. It is a size medium, but it's a pretty good size one if you ask me. And especially if you pull the straps out and wear it on your shoulder, then I think it is definitely... A good size bag. This is my one and only tote bag and I love it so much. I'm not really into structured tote bags all that much but, but with this one I couldn't resist it because it's reverse monogram and also too I don't mind having one or two in my collection because there are times that I want a structured tote bag and I have used this bag several times. So I have definitely used it. I just don't know that I would buy a ton of these bags because they're a little more on the heavier side. And with my back, I don't really do heavy that much. So the lighter, the better. And of course, I do have an organizer on the inside just to help maintain the structure. Um, I don't really think it would lose it, but some people have talked about it losing structure like on the sides and such. I don't know, but I have it so I'll just keep it in there because it's definitely not hurting the bag being in there. And I will say this is a good travel bag for sure because 
you can throw so much down in here. Well, you can throw so much down in all of these bags, but with this one just being open, you can just throw like lots of things down in here that you might want to just grab out at any given second. It, easy access to inside of the bag, which could also be a bad thing, but just saying, this is one you could throw snacks down in and a water bottle down in. You don't have to zip it up or any of that kind of stuff. It's definitely a perfect bag when it comes to needing to reach in your bag and grab out larger items and such because you can see them so well and it's so easy to get to them. So I do like a tote bag. Like I said, I just don't need more than one or two. And this little bag tag that I have on it is real. The bow right here is real as well and a lady in california takes canvas apart i guess from vintage bags older bags i'm not real sure but she makes a lot of things out of canvas i just thought it would be something really cute to add to my bag that is different so if i can find her <laughs> if i can find her card i will link her in my description box below because i would like to buy other things because she sells a ton of things i've just got to find it i don't know where i put it but anyways, she did put the bag tag onto a piece of canvas that is real as well. Strap right here. And then she added these little clips that probably came from Amazon or something. And it makes a super, super, super cute bag charm. So my third bag is the On The Go Tote in the MM size in reverse monogram. So my next bag is the Maida bag in the color Turtle Dove. And I would say this bag is more on the larger side for sure. I really love the Maida bags. And the color Turtle Dove is just such a beautiful color. I like the pockets on the front. Like you can stick your phone down in here and still have room to spare even in one pocket. It's going to stick out a little bit if you have like a larger case like I do. You know, who cares? Like it's down in there, you know, like it's perfect. And same thing for the other side, but the back does not, even though it looks like it could, and even though they could have put them there, they decided not to, I guess, which is okay because these two hold a good amount of things. But I really like that it has like the pebbled leather on the top and the back of the bag. And then it leads into the regular size monogram print on the bottom of the bag, front and back. And then the bottom is the pebbled leather along with the sides as well. So I like how they mix that up. I think it just gives it a different look that sets it aside from all of the other bags that Louis Vuitton makes. So, I, and then it has feet on the bottom. So this is one that has feet. And I think all large bags should have feet, to be honest, except for one bag. And I'll show you guys that in a minute and tell you why. But I do also like that it has the double zippers right here. And whenever you open it up, let me take my stuffing out. It has the beautiful same color microfiber lining on the inside. And it has two good slip pockets right there. Whenever they put microfiber lining on the insides of the bags, it just makes a world of a difference to me because I just think it feels more luxurious and looks more luxurious and it's prettier and just, I don't know, I just really like it. So I don't hold that against the bags that don't have it. So they're still safe. I'm still gonna buy them if they don't come with microfiber because they cannot help with the designers do and what they line their bags with. So I don't hold it against them, but I do wish Louis Vuitton would add microfiber in any bag that they can anyways. So you guys are probably wondering what in the world is going on with the <laughs> top handle here. So this bag does come with a long crossbody strap, by the way. I just don't have it in my bag, but no, I did not sell it. I do like that. But I also like to just throw this bag on my shoulder and go. So the bag comes with this braided top handle and you're supposed to just hook it straight onto the bag. And it does fit my shoulder like that. But when I add extenders like I have right here, it's so much better. So just look at this, you guys. Like it gives me so much more room and I can just like rest my arm down on the bag 
and well once again i'll pull my shirt up so you guys can see how much room it gives between my arm and the bag i mean it gives a ton of room and this is with me sitting down so when i stand up i have shorts on and i don't match so i really don't want to stand up but this does allow me a lot more room to use this as a short shoulder bag and i really like the Meta bag more as a short shoulder bag i have wore it as a long shoulder bag and i have actually wore it as a crossbody but i don't care for it that way so I added some extenders and it's perfect. And to me, it looks like they're just part of the bag. And I'll put it up close so you guys can see how non-cheap they actually look. <laughs> Guess that's the best word to describe it because they don't look like cheap little extenders. They just look like they would have came with the bag, to be honest. And so the Maida bag is an amazing bag. I hate that they discontinued them and yeah. It's sad because why? Why would they discontinue this bag? It's so beautiful. But anyways, I'm glad I have her. I did have her in the black and I sold it to buy something else. I don't remember why because I have so many big black bags. As I mentioned with the Never Fools that I decided there was something else I wanted. I decided I can let one of my larger black bags go. So I let the black made a bag go. Probably going to buy her back because I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> I do that a lot, you guys. I really do. Buyer's remorse, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm getting better. All right. So, bag number four is the Maida Hobo bag in the Turtle Dove on Prime calf skin, whatever leather. Okay. Okay. My next bag is the Graceful MM in the Damier Abine. The, they do have this bag in the PM size. And even that size is a, a pretty decent size. But to me, the Graceful MMs are a larger bag. But I love the Gracefuls. I, the very first Louis Vuitton I ever owned was a Graceful in the monogram. And I wore the heck out of that bag. Like, bad. I, bad. <laughs> so, anyways, I so I ended up buying this one because I love the Daumier of Bean. I love that it has the red interior and I do have an organizer down in there as well because I just carried this bag not too long ago. This is a good carefree bag. This is a good travel bag. They're all good travel bags but I like to carry this one because it's all smushy and I can just throw it on my shoulder and the strap does not bother me at all because it fits over my arm and under my shoulder just fine. So I really like the look of a hobo bag. Hobo bags are just something I've always liked, always liked. So I will never not like hobo style bags. And the graceful to me is just an, the ultimate hobo style bag. So this is a bag, like I said, I really, really do love. I hear they're discontinuing them per 2SA. So if you guys are interested in getting a graceful and you haven't yet, you might want to check. Please don't hold me to it because there's always rumors going around about bags that are being discontinued and such. And it, when we're talking about the iconic classic bags, because obviously we know collection bags do end up being discontinued or they're just no longer available and you can't get them. So when they start talking about the basic classic iconic bags, there's a lot of talk when people start saying they're going to be discontinued. And like I said, I have confirmed with two SAs that said it's coming soon. So I hate that, but I feel like they're going to come back with something just as good, just like they did when they discontinued the Delightful and they came out with the Gracefuls. I have heard that a lot of people like the Delightful more, but I love the Graceful. I think they're amazing bags. So as you can see, like with just the organizer in it, it just slouches down. I don't even know why they put a magnet here because it's not a strong magnet. I mean, if I sit and just like close it, it's kind of strong. But the minute you pick it up, <laughs> it just doesn't stay together. And especially whenever you put it on your shoulder, it's over. Over, you guys, the magnet is useless. Literally useless. They could have saved money and not to put a magnet on this bag because they really just don't keep the bag closed but i feel like it's a bag that's pretty secure when you're wearing it setting it down that's another story so anyways my fifth bag would be like i said the graceful and the mm and i really love the little bag tag on it that has my initials super cute okay moving on 
Okay, so sticking with the, gra the graceful style, I have it in the Daumier Azure as well, and it is in the medium size also. I love the Azure so much, and I love how it has the pink, and it's stuffed as well with an organizer in it too. I do like having an organizer in here because it's just such a deep hole in both of these bags basically in all of these bags it's, since they are so large that i like to have some organization inside of the bags so i put organizers in all of my large bags and the insert that i have in here is also a never full mm one but it works just fine so i think the azure is so super pretty i love it with certain outfits especially this shirt like it looks really cute with this shirt and i normally put pink things with my azure pieces but all in all it matches everything because well it's definitely a neutral bag i feel like just maybe not as neutral as my maida bag but it's definitely a neutral bag and then i dress it up with this cute charm from the christmas animation collection of 2021 yeah i believe it's the 2021 it's the one where vivian visited hollywood and i like that it has a damiazur in the background and then it's pink on the back. So the Graceful MM, such an amazing bag. I highly recommend both of these. And I will say another thing about both of these bags. They are priced on the lower end of Louis Vuitton's bags. So you can get these bags for, I want to say around 2000 with tax. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're under 2000. And by the time you pay tax, they may be a, a at 2000 or a little over depending on which state you live in but you are getting a lot of bag for your money that's for sure one thing about the graceful bags is you do not have to worry about keeping them structured because they're not supposed to because they're hobo style bags if there could have been one thing i could have asked for for the gracefuls it would be for them to have feet on the bottom but because these bags set up good enough that I think the feet would have been really helpful in protecting the bottom of the bag, but that's okay. So my sixth bag is the Graceful in the MM size in the Daumier Azure. So my next big bag, or should I say large bag, is this big bad boy, the Artsy bag in the monogram print. And this is a bag that before I started buying Louis Vuitton, I fell in love with from seeing it around town and I always thought if I buy a Louis Vuitton bag, it's going to be this bag. However, I did not know what the bag was called, to be honest. So I remember going into the Louis Vuitton store to buy my first bag and I described this bag and they said it had been discontinued. So they showed me the Graceful and I bought the Graceful. So I don't know if they were talking about the one that didn't have the Vachetta on the top or if there was a bag just like it and that bag was discontinued and they came out with the artsy i have no idea because i knew nothing about louis vuitton at all when i bought my first bag or when i seen people carrying them the only name i'd ever heard was never full that's it so when i went in i did not know how to describe this bag other than saying it had a braided top handle in which it does as you guys can see and it was a very large bag that's the knowledge that I went in with. Okay, so I have a feeling that it was probably this bag, but the older style, the more that I think of it. But anyways, back to the bag. So the RT bag is definitely a large bag. I wouldn't even call this big. I would call this large, but it's an amazing bag. It really is. And one thing that I have not done with this bag is wart enough for the top handle to mold and get the shape of my shoulder so I need to carry it some more I really do because once you break it in it's not as tight on the arm like because this one does definitely come up underneath my arm pretty good but my friend has one and hers is broken in and her and I are about the same size so I put hers on and it drooped really well so once the handle is broken in and it's got that nice curve to it, it does give you some more room underneath the bag. So I know that, like I said, because I tried hers on, I just need to break mine in, but I really love the artsy bag. It's just another one of those gorgeous, iconic classic bags, in my opinion anyways. I love the little 
charm-ish thing that it comes with. And I've tied my own bandeau on here just for looks to make it look pretty. And yeah, I don't regret buying this bag. I love having this bag as part of my collection. Inside of the bag has some canvas and the rest is microfiber lining, but I do again have an organizer down in here. And I will say it does have a good pocket of its own inside the bag. So yeah, it's got the tan microfiber lining and with an organizer in there, you're able to reach and get your stuff out just fine. And you definitely do not have to worry about someone sticking their hand down and trying to get anything out of your bag when you're wearing these because these babies fit pretty snug. They do. And so anyways, I just love it. I think it's a gorgeous bag. I don't care how big it is. It doesn't matter to me because small, medium, and large bags, I like them all for sure. Um, this bag does have feet. This is the bag that I was talking about that I don't understand why they put feet on this one and not some of the others. Not that I'm complaining, but hold it in my hands because I didn't tilt the camera down far enough for you guys to see. But when you set this bag down, the canvas just kind of just goes down with it. So the canvas is actually going to be touching any surface that you set it on because the feet really don't protect the bag that much due to the fact that it is so big and white, I guess, because if, as you guys can see on my hand, it's, you know, it's still like hanging over, which is okay because half of them don't have it anyways. So bag number seven is my artsy bag in the monogram canvas. Okay, my last bag that I'm gonna show you guys is my artsy bag in the black on prompt leather. And this one is by far my fave of the artsy bags, that is. And why I love this bag so much is because it's so squishy and, and so soft and, and then also chic looking as well. I love that it has the deeply embossed regular monogram print all over the bag. I think it is just so gorgeous. If they're going to emboss the prints on the leather bags, do it deep because, <laughs> anyways, do it deep because it really makes the bags look so much better. So when it comes to the regular size print versus the giant print, they definitely emboss the regular print deeper than they do the oversized giant print. But that's okay because it's nice to have a mixture of all. But yes, I really do love this bag so much. This was a bag that I carried when I had COVID, thought I was gonna die. Literally went to the ER twice, thought I was literally gonna die the second time, no joke. Like I was begging for them to admit me in the hospital and they wouldn't. They said it's gonna be fine. They're like, you're gonna be fine, girl. You're gonna be fine. You are. I didn't think I was gonna be fine, but I, I was. I, I, I was and then I lost a ton of hair. I did. She stuck by me the whole time though. She never left my side. So back to the bag. The top handle does have the braid on it as well. Let me show you guys that real quick. This one gives a whole lot more when you put it on your arm because of the leather. The leather is just softer. So yeah, so love this bag. Two pieces. It also comes with the same charm that hangs down. And I added another charm just because that's what I do. I told you guys, I have a bazillion charms. <laughs> and then I even like, I don't know, I tied up some kind of bando in my own way. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. I, I believe I was bored through COVID and did that. All of it. Anyways, this bag does have feet on it as well. And once again, it doesn't matter because once you set this bag down, the leather just tends to wanna just fall right on over. So the feet really don't help it, but that's okay. She's a beautiful bag. Inside of the leather one does have at the top, the leather, and as you guys can see, it's just tan with some black stripes and it does have a good size pocket going across the bag, but I have an organizer in here and this is an organizer. Pull it out real quick and show you. This one zips up. So if you wanna buy organizers for your large bags that don't close, like the artsies, the great souls and such, then buy an organizer with a zipper and that will help people from getting stolen out of your bag. So I love the organizers that zip. I mean, most of the time they stay unzipped inside my bags, but if I feel like I should zip them up, at least I have a zipper there. So yeah, look how it is you guys when I don't have an organizer in it. These bags are awesome. I really love the hobo style bags. Like they are just 
my thing. So anyways, that was nine of my big handbags and that's without showing you guys my Neverfulls because those are big too, but I've already done my Neverfull collection other than the one I have for sale. So there was no point in bringing those back out, but definitely I would consider those a big or large handbag, no doubt. So I have a feeling these are not going to be the last of the large bags that you guys see in my collection because I really do love to carry these bags. So anyways, that is going to wrap up my video for today and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And once again, if you haven't, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And like I asked earlier on, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below because I do like communicating with you guys. And also, if you're not following me on Instagram, please go over and do so. It is the same name as my YouTube and so is my Facebook which is Candy Sweet Love for LV. And then I will link my email in my description box below in case you guys need it or in case you guys are interested in the Never Full that I showed you. So I hope you guys all have a great rest of your week. And as we go into the weekend, and I'm going to leave you my sweet friends as I always do with I hope you have a great morning, day, evening or night, whatever the time of day it is that you're watching this. And for me, it is a good night. And I will see you guys back real soon with another video. Bye.